here we are in Race Max Pro. This is my C Class AC378 GT, done up in a fairly simple decals game. There are all of nine decals on this car. I think it turned out pretty good. If I hadn't put the flags on there, it could have been done with seven decals. So actually, let's get a better view without anything on the screen of the car here. What do you think? That looks not too bad. It's not that difficult to do even. Even. <coughs> Most of it is done with symmetry. Actually, I believe the whole thing is done with symmetry. There was only one problem that symmetry caused, and that was choosing the decal between the two wheels there. <coughs> it is one of the striped decals. It had some wording on it. I had to figure some way to remove the wording because when you symmetry, the wording on the other side comes out backwards. There are two ways of doing that. You can either adjust it so the wording does not project on a part of the car where the wording will be on it. Or you could take a block of the same color and put it over top of the wording and eliminate the wording. And you could then take that great block, which is just behind the front, would be just behind the front wheel there, as much as I did. And I took one of the tribal decals and put that over top and tried to match the color of the car of the, with that decal. I extended the theme of that stripe by putting something behind the rear wheel with on the exact same line in line with it using a flame decal that just about goes to where the exhaust is on the car. The only other complicated part of this car is, well your car comes out like this and it I can't zoom in close enough to show exactly how close it be when you apply the decal but you can apply your decal straight down. And when your decal comes up, when, in your, when the car is pointed like this, it would have been better if the developer had had your car point like this. Uh, you have to adjust your decal 90 degrees to get it to be in line with the car. So it's what I did. I made a working decal, which was a square or a line. A stripe will do. And I just made it real thin. And I X synced it. Then I rotate it so that the line, instead of being had, had a cross in it, was either one over top of the other or two parallel lines. So I knew where the exact center of the car was when it was in this direction when you get the straight down view. And you can slide the car up and down the screen when you're in this view when you're applying decals. So you know you've got that line as a reference. Then I took the decal there on the hood, which is the same decal that's on the roof, except it's a different scale of one on the roof. And I projected it so that part of the decal is not actually visible. And I tried to put them pretty much in line as close as I could, so that there's about the same spacing. And you get an effect like that. I also did that with the front there. It is a wing decal. There's a little bit of overlap where it's over top of the blue symbol that is the car's badge. I just adjusted the angle till I came up with a pattern or and selected a wing that was can't give me a desirable shape. And I uh, did the same thing around the AC here. I believe I took a decal, squished it one way, extended it the other, and sort of tried to outline the AC there as well without obscuring the 
model of the vehicle, the 378GT. And on sort of the haunches there, or the, between the windows, I projected from uh, an angle something like this. I customized my angle, and I just selected a circle. Because there are two different styles of flags you can apply to your car. There's a circle, and there's a, another flag, uh, sort of a extended type of flag shape when I decided to go with the circle. And since my Canadian symbol flag here is pretty much the color I decided to choose for the car, I decided I need to outline it. So I put two decals there, one over top of the other, and slid the flag to the top, made the circle behind, which I turned to an oval, a little different shape, and both of those were applied as symmetry, so there's one on each side. If you decide to go with a, you really like this devil's game and decide to go with a complete copy of it, please put a different flag on or some other decals to change it a little better. Choose a different color so I know which car is mine if I go online and meet you there. So how about we take this car out onto the track or I'll shut up for a bit and you can just view it in the different lighting conditions. I'm going to be doing some simple racing. We'll just do some three of the three types of fast cast races, which is pretty much the basic di 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 distinguishing characters, the types of races available in the game. in that race. When you go online sometimes you can bump into other cars and sometimes you can't. I'm not sure why the difference when you go online but presently I am playing online. And now for the shortest style of racing in the game, the drag races. They're usually under 15 seconds.
Well, there you have it. A demonstration of a fairly classy decal scheme. It only takes nine decals to make. If you're interested in this video or something similar, check out my other videos or go online and see what other players have come up with.